Welcome to the second in a series of six videos on the history of the parlors at the College of St. Scholastica. My name is Heidi Johnson, and I am the archivist for the college. Tower Hall was completed in 1928, over 20 years after its construction started. With it being completed, its true magnificence was realized. At 240 feet long, with two soaring but different towers, six floors, three crenellated turrets in its corners, four unique fireplaces, and a foyer fit for an English palace, Tower Hall continues to wow visitors and students alike. Mother Agnes Summers was instrumental in the design of the foyer or main entrance between the two towers. Supposedly, it is a replica of a lobby in the Victoria and Albert Museum in Kensington, London. This photo is during its construction, and you can see that the painting is not yet installed and the ceiling has not been painted. Here is a description of its exquisite elements, starting with the ceiling. It has parge or raised plaster designed with the Tudor or Benedictine rose and the patriarchal cross. The ornate hanging pendant light fixture has Florentine glass. Along the perimeter of the room at the top of the wall is a carved green English ivy molding. The walls are wormy chestnut from Florida fumigated to make sure no worms traveled north. Ionic columns with acanthus leaves are a nod to Greek influence. The floor is especially beautiful and made by the Namaji Tile and Pottery Company, which started in 1923, using clays from the Namaji River in nearby Moose Lake, Minnesota. Additionally, there are four special handcrafted Kesoto marble tiles with the shapes of an elephant, squirrel, owl, and griffin. Directly off the main foyer are six doors made with Florentine glass with symbols, including the Star of David, the Monogram of Christ, the Tree of Life, the Trinity, Ladder of Jacob, and the Alpha and Omega. These doors lead to the main hallway and the lounges, including what used to be the brown lounge that has a fireplace, the lobby parlors, that also have pocket doors opening to the foyer and the gold parlor. In the next lobby chat, we will explore more about an important piece of art in the main foyer named the last meeting of St. Benedict and St. Scholastica. Stay tuned. <music>